how to make your own homemade cherry blossom candies. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for your yo Thanks 12. Now I'm just going to show you what one looks like when you buy it from the store, if you're unfamiliar with them. These apparently are pretty much a Canadian thing. They've been made in Canada since the 1890s by Lowney which is the brand that is actually now a subsidiary of Hershey's. They used to be made in Smith Falls, Ontario, which is about five hours east of me. And now apparently they're made in Mexico. So you can see here, it's actually made for Hershey's. And this is what it looks like. Now these have changed very little since I've been a little girl. I think they look exactly like this when I was growing up. Comes wrapped in foil. There's one of these per package. And as you can see, it's kind of lumpy looking. Um, it looks almost homemade. It really, really does. The bottom of it, you can see the peanuts and the coconut sticking out. Um, there's like a shell with a filling and then there's like a little cap. So you can see how it was made. Now the inside, when you cut into it or bite into it usually, is very gooey. It's kind of messy to eat because you have this cherry liquid that kind of oozes out when you bite into it. And then inside there is a whole maraschino cherry, which you may not be able to see very well here. I'm going to pop out with a knife so you can see it. And that is the candy. Now to make these yourself, start off with a medium sized saucepan, two cups of chocolate chips, quarter cup of shredded coconut, half a cup of icing sugar, a quarter cup of chopped peanuts, and a quarter cup of creamy peanut butter. Now you're going to cook and stir this over medium low heat until it is melted and then you can stir it freely and then set that aside. Now if you have chocolate molds in your home use those however uh, the perfect mold for this it actually even looks like the cherry blossom shape are plastic egg cartons. So I washed and dried a plastic egg carton took some of that mixture fill it to about little over half and then use the spoon just to push it up the sides of the egg container to make a little hollow shape or a little cup in there to hold the cherry and the liquid that we're going to put in there. So fill up your egg cartons. You should have enough to do about a dozen of them. Let them harden in the refrigerator. Mix up your cherry mixture. That is a quarter cup of icing sugar with enough maraschino cherry juice just to make it runny couple of tablespoons. Then you're going to add about a teaspoon or so to each of the little cups. And then add a maraschino cherry to that. And then finally, you're going to top it off with more of the mixture. Now, if the mixture solidified while you're waiting for the cups to harden, just put it back on the stove on low just to soften it up a little bit. And then just spoon enough of that on there. You just want to make sure that you have a nice seal so when you turn it over the liquid filling doesn't ooze out of any cracks. Put these in the refrigerator and let them harden. And there they are out of the refrigerator and hardened and you just kind of pop them out of the molds. They come out actually quite easily. And as you can see it's it's almost exactly the shape that the commercially made ones come in. And then you can wrap them up with foil and you are good to go. I suggest you keep these in the refrigerator because they have a tendency to soften a little bit at room temperature. I'm going to cut in one and a half so you can see what it looks like inside. And pretty much just like the commercially made one, as you can see. The only thing that was made these a little bit different tasting than the original was the fact that I used semi-sweet chocolate. The original commercially made ones use milk chocolate. And that, of course, changes the taste. However, overall, though, they taste exactly like the cherry blossom candies that you can buy at the store. Brought these to work, handed them out to a few of my older colleagues that used to eat these as kids, and, um, and some of them still do, and they, they absolutely love them. I'm going to throw these cherry blossom candies onto my candy making playlist. If you want to see the other videos that appear on the playlist, go ahead and click right on your screen and look for the link in the description box below. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.